Perhaps you see someone crying on the bathroom floor, looking miserable and in despair. But the truth is, there is more to depression than what might commonly be portrayed in society or depicted in media. Depression can look like the happiest person in your friend group, that one coworker who's gotten excellent recognition three weeks in a row, or even your friendly neighbor next door. Depression doesn't just have one face or form, it comes in many, which is why it can make it so hard to detect it in yourself or others. So to help you be more aware of the signs of depression, here are six signs of depression that no one really talks about. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have depression or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Number one, you have an inconsistent sleep schedule. An unusual or inconsistent sleep schedule is a huge indicator of a troubled mind. John S. Hopkins researcher Patrick H. Finan, PhD, states that poor sleep may create difficulties regulating emotions that in turn may leave you more vulnerable to depression in the future months or even years from now. Moreover, a recent study conducted by Finan had analyzed healthy men and women who had interrupted sleep through the night and found a notable 31% reduction in positive moods the next day. If this is the harm that one night of sleeplessness can have, just imagine the drastic impact that unusual sleep habits can have over time. Severe insomnia can increase your risk of depression and weaken your emotional resilience. So when you are faced with challenges in life, you may find yourself lacking the ability to deal with them in a healthy way. Number two, you seem irritable or frustrated on a daily basis. Do you find yourself feeling angry for no particular reason? If not you, perhaps someone you know who seems to always display distress or triggered behavior. Is there a genuine reason why they're acting this way? If not, you may have just come across a major indicator of concealed depression. This person is most likely acting this way due to going long lengths of time, suppressing or avoiding their stress or emotions. It's, it's kind of like a glass of water that fills up to the brim and then overflows when it can't take anymore. When you suppress and ignore your emotions, you may end up releasing them with external negative energy and frequent microaggressions throughout the day. Number three, your happiness seems forced. Do you know someone who always seems almost too cheerful? Forcing happiness to cover up internal sadness is actually known as smiling depression. The National Alliance on Mental Illness explains that smiling depression involves appearing happy to others, smiling through the pain, and keeping the inner turmoil hidden. It's a major depressive disorder with atypical symptoms. As such, you may not even know you're depressed or you won't seek help. This sign can be very hard to notice because you can appear to be put together and accomplished on the outside. Or you may just have a genuinely joyful personality that makes it hard to differentiate. Number four, you have an obsessive sense of responsibility. People with hidden depression can oftentimes be found neglecting their own needs, but making up for it by always being there for others. You may be hyper aware of the emotions, feelings, and needs of others and are always the first one to step up and offer help where help is needed. Psychologist Margaret Robinson Rutherford, PhD, states that in this case, you're a good leader, although not the best delegator. With depression, this heightened sense of being responsible, reliable, and responsive can put pressure on you to always readily expect the worst case scenarios and always blame yourself when things go wrong. You might find yourself struggling to take a step back to look at the bigger picture and understand that unfortunately, not everything can be fixed or is in your control. Number five you work extra hard to stay busy. When you have a lost desire to thrive fully as a person, you may resort to measuring your self-worth on a scale of how productive you are in a day. Margaret continues to explain this by stating that you count on activity and accomplishments to distract yourself from any inner insecurities. You may not know what brings you a sense of esteem, except for those accomplishments and tasks. This may be why you tend to stick with a packed schedule, mainly as an attempt to run away from the real problem at hand and to avoid facing the confusing internal criticism and conflict you're experiencing. And number six, you compartmentalize your feelings. Do you have a habit of locking away your feelings? People that are internally trapped in a depressive state are often known to compartmentalize their feelings. You may create a system over time in which you lock up your feelings of anger, sadness, hurt, pain, distress, and all the others in boxes that are kept away in the depths of your mind. Along with this, you might also dismiss or discount hurt or abuse from past experiences, downplaying and invalidating your own personal pain, which may eventually bring you down in other areas of your life. 
It takes mindfulness, awareness, and special close attention to see this unhealthy and subtle sign of depression in yourself or someone else. Did you find this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below.